He had knowledge that his family was money laundering. He had to. You think the Treasury? Well, money, but money laundering. Look, I, I, if there's evidence of money laundering, and, which is a, and, which is a crime, which is a, which is a federal crime, then obviously uh, uh, your committee should report it uh, to to the FBI and, that's and the why Justice Department. The judge tomorrow. picked it out. That's yeah. one of the reasons the Delaware judge rejected the the sweetheart plea deal. The judge there was clearly violations of the Foreign Agents right. Registration Act and money laundering. Right. Republican Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, Kentucky. Yeah. You'll come back uh, when you got when you got more uh, to talk about. We'll work with you, Jake. All Thanks right. for having me. Several days later. Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China and Joe Biden was wrong. All right, guys. So we got to talk about CNN. Jake Tapper more specifically, who uh, last time I did a video about him, he was sparring with James Comer, the Republican in Congress that is leading the investigation into the Biden crime family and their influence peddling operation overseas. Now, Jake Tapper is skeptical, which should be no surprise. I mean, he is a Democrat Party shill. And <clears throat> of course, he's going to be skeptical. OK, a lot more skeptical than he would be of the Democrats and their conspiracy theory. However, Jake Tapper took to the air to actually admit something that I thought would never come out in the mouth of a CNN Democrat Party propagandist, which is that Trump was right and Biden was wrong, specifically when it comes to Hunter Biden's business deals overseas, his family taking money from foreign entities. And again, Jake Tapper is actually going to say this out loud on his show and um i think it's pretty noteworthy that cnn is actually admitting at least some of the truth and, and uh, Kristen uh glenn kessler from the washington post uh, had a fact check about joe biden uh from earlier this month um noting that hunter biden admitted in court in july that he was in fact paid substantial sums uh from chinese companies kessler wrote hunter biden reported nearly 2.4 million in income in 2017 and 2.2 million in income in 2018, most of which came from Chinese or Ukrainian interests. But this, and this directly goes against what Joe Biden said in the debate in 2020 uh, with uh, Donald Trump. Take a listen. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about? China. What you None of that is true. He made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. So it's from two different debates, but I mean, Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China and Joe Biden was wrong. I don't know that he was lying about it. He might not have been told by Hunter, but this blind spot is a problem. It's a problem, one, because Republicans aren't going to let it go, that's for sure. But also, these problems are continuing through the legal system. It's not as though this is something that's been settled in other jurisdictions and Republicans are just harping on it. It is an ongoing thing in our courts. It's not going anywhere. This is a blind spot. Does it concern you as a Democrat? Well, I think dads have sometimes and parents sometimes have blind spots about their kids, for sure, and the president may be no exception. But nothing has tied the president to any of Hunter Biden's dealings. There's no whiff of him being involved or him being implicated in it. And uh, it's, you know, I think it's not something the voters care a lot about. All right, well, thanks to the panel. Thank amazing, absolutely amazing segment. Okay, you have Jake Tapper, who again is skeptical, admitting that Trump was right and Biden was wrong about Hunter Biden taking money from overseas, from foreign entities. And you would think that as a journalist, right, uh, you would start asking more questions about what is Joe Biden lying about, right? Why do we have WhatsApp text messages showing that Hunter Biden basically, you know, threatened to put his father on the phone or something like that in negotiations with some of his business partners overseas? Uh, Joe Biden also uh, was on the phone allegedly with Hunter Biden while Hunter Biden was with his business partners. He did speak with Hunter Biden's business partners, despite the fact that Joe Biden came out here and said that he did not do that, that he never spoke with Hunter Biden's business partners. Now, we know that he actually did speak with Hunter Biden's business partners. Not only did he speak with Hunter Biden's business partners, but he also had meetings with Hunter Biden's business partners, dinners. OK, also, he flew Hunter Biden out on Air Force Two to China for Hunter to meet with business associates. He wrote Devin Archer a letter 
uh, apologizing to Devin Archer for being too busy with the Chinese president, right, to, I guess, meet Devin Archer, to talk to Devin Archer. We just found out that Joe Biden was using a fake name as vice president to essentially coordinate with his son in regards to his schedule in Ukraine that coincides with Joe Biden's actions in Ukraine that just so happened to benefit Hunter Biden, who was on the board of Burisma. Uh, I think CNN should be asking a whole lot of questions about this stuff because I do think that the American people do care about Joe Biden and his foreign business dealings overseas, alleged foreign business dealings overseas, uh, backed up by the fact that polls have cons consistently shown that if the Hunter Biden laptop story was not suppressed, it would have swung the outcome of the election in 2020 right it would have affected the outcome we probably would have trump in office and not biden but hey the good thing is that we do have some good journalists left in this country very few people like peter ducey who's on the job of actually asking the questions that they should be asking on cnn instead of living in denial of reality right now he is preparing for an international summit and officials around here are trying to put the focus on problems overseas that is because as you will see right here things at home are not looking so good for the white house right now hey president biden not much depth president today biden. at the white house president. or in scranton can you tell us about your hawaii trip sir no not now or at joint base andrews are you willing to share what your goals are for the summit sir not till I finish them. The silence comes as Americans struggle financially. Just 35% of voters say their personal financial situation is excellent or good. 65% say it's fair or poor in a new Fox poll. Grocery prices are a problem for 87%. Gas prices for 85%. Utility costs for 81%. Leaving just 3 in 10 voters satisfied with how things are going in the country. All of this undermines President Biden's boasting about Bidenomics yesterday. Guess what? It's working. That's as House Republicans wonder, is Joe Biden Robert Peters? Oversight Committee Chair James Comer writes to the National Archives on May 27th, 2016. Vice President Biden took a call with the president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. It is concerning to the committee, however, that this document was sent to Robert L. Peters, a pseudonym the committee has identified as then Vice President Biden. Adding, quote, Joe Biden has stated there was an absolute wall between his family's foreign business schemes and his duties as vice president. What I will do is the same thing we did in our administration. There will be an absolute wall between personal and private uh, and, and, and the government. But evidence reveals that access was wide open for his family's influence peddling. At the time, the Obama-Biden administration said aliases are normal. If they are inundated in one account with uh, either public emails or spam or the like that they can continue to uh, use their other account for uh, normal work. That doesn't explain everything and this president is now going to need somebody new to explain things to investigators because the White House counsel Stuart Delery is leaving. Officials around here haven't told us who the new top lawyer is going to be but whoever that person is on their first day they're going to have a full inbox. So Joe Biden did get confronted about uh his son and him being under special counsel investigation while on his overseas trip with the leaders of japan and south korea take a look president on a um domestic matter um what is your reaction to the special counsel appointment uh last week into your son thank you <laughs> well first of all look there's not much, if anything, I agree on with my predecessor on foreign policy. His America first policy, walking away from the rest of the world, has made us weaker, not stronger. America's strong with our allies and our alliances, and that's why we will endure. And it's a strength that, uh, quite frankly, uh, uh, that uh, increases all or three of our strengths. This is just about one summit. What makes today different is it actually launching a series of initiatives that are actually uh, institutional changes in how we deal with one another. And security cooperation, economic cooperation, technology cooperation, 
development cooperation, consultation exercises, and all of this will create uh, our own momentum, I believe, year by year, month by month, to make the relationship stronger and more certain to remain, to be in place. And uh, with regard to these result, results, I think, are going to keep it going, and I think they're going to benefit all our countries. And uh, with regard to uh, the second question, uh, I, make, I have no comment on any investigation that's going on. That's up to the Justice Department, and uh, that's all I have to say. Yeah, so no surprises that Joe Biden has no comment, but he has to take a jab at Trump. A jab that, in my opinion, is just like, <laughs> this guy is claiming that America first policies uh, actually weakened us on a world stage. <laughs> when That's just objectively not true, okay? America first policies actually has made us stronger on the world stage. I mean, look at the fact that we did not have any new wars under Trump. Uh, we weren't getting laughed at and humiliated by countries like, for example, Saudi Arabia, where they openly mock Joe Biden. Uh, the Taliban took over uh, Afghanistan because of Joe Biden. Uh, we have the war in Ukraine because of Joe Biden and his weakness. To sit here and say that America first policies or America first leadership, a.k.a. Trump, being in office made the country weaker on the world stage is just it's just ridiculous on its face okay it had nothing to do with the question but just to even state that just shows you how not in touch with reality some of these democrats are but again of course joe biden doesn't have anything to say about it uh but hey you know nice try by this journalist for confronting joe biden or hunter biden actually asking the question something that again cnn refuses to do right they refuse to ask questions about it they want to be in the dark about it, and then they want to admit when it's too late that, hey, all of this stuff was true. Like, for example, I guarantee you, I guarantee you what's about to happen, just like with the initial Hunter Biden laptop story, just like with the Russia collusion hoax, they're going to admit when it's too late that they were wrong, that, hey, uh, Joe Biden was selling influence overseas but it'll be after the election, right? When they actually do that, okay? When they actually admit it, it'll be after the election. And of course, nobody will face consequences for it, right? That's what's about to happen. But hey, you know, it is kind of interesting seeing CNN admit that Trump was right and Biden was wrong. I just wish they would get up to speed in regards to everything else that is going on because that's old news, right? Trump has been right. Biden's been wrong. Uh, I think that they should be asking a lot more questions about Joe Biden. But again, I know in the future, I'm guaranteed they will be saying it again about Biden being a liar and being wrong and Trump being right. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.